All right, so we wanna make Call of Duty as simple and as easy as possible when we're playing ranked play. So let's think about the objectives in Call of Duty. Um, clearly, we have the main objective, which is the objective, which is probably hard point or probably you know the control point or planting the bomb in SND. Now, there's also a, another objective, such as the spawns. Spawns are very, very, very important because uh, they literally make the game easier for you. Simple as that. And then, of course, the last and the final objective is kills, right? Super simple. But kills are very important because if you're not getting them, you're not going to be able to get the spawns. You're not going to be able to get on the objective. Now, that being said, we have three objectives to worry about. So we have four Call of Duty players. We might as well give these objectives or these jobs to three of our four players, right? Uh, so obviously we know that one of the players is going to be an AR. We also know that another player is probably going to be an SMG. And then of course there's also a third player and that third player is usually the flex, right? Um, we'll get into the fourth player, but right now we're just going to keep it as simple as possible. So now we know that, okay, we have an AR, we have an SMG, we have a flex, and we have to worry about the objective, the spawns, and the kills. So very simply, you can already start sitting there and thinking, okay, as an AR player, let's have our AR player always playing spawns, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect these two, but basically AR player is gonna play with the spawns. Uh, so what does that mean? What does that look like? So what that looks like is the main AR should always be prior to, uh, prioritizing spawns, right? And uh, that could include multiple types of play styles. Um, probably one of the most notable ones is usually the last AR player would be the last person on old time. He dies, he spawns at new, and then he holds hard point time. Uh, but that's thinking a little further ahead. So... Let's just say maybe this first AR player, he spawns up, you know, over here at P1 bedroom side and there's about 30 seconds left and he realizes, oh crap, time to rotate, right? Um, which is probably the golden rule for hard point. It's just 30 seconds is pretty much rotate time. Um, so maybe this AR player spawning up over here at bedroom saying, oh crap, 30 seconds, let's get to P2, let me get to P2 spawns. And by playing P2 spawns, obviously if he's over here at bed and he pushes through bed and now he's playing the spawns, he only has to worry about the enemies hitting in front of him back hole in the wall or getting onto time through chandelier because he just came from bed and vice versa to that, right? Yeah. If he spawned over at a restaurant and he rotates towards the back, now all he has to worry about is spa side. And throughout the rest of P2, um, throughout the rest of P2, basically he's just sitting back here. He's literally sitting back here the entire time. And then once it hits 30 seconds again, and it's time to rotate to P3, this guy's going to rotate, get to the spawns for P3, right? Now yeah. that's obviously super hard, um, just by doing it by yourself. Uh, but that's where, you know, we can talk about the next objective, which is the SMG player. So your SMG player is going to more than likely play the objective, right? Let's just say, hey, SMG, play the objective. So same scenario. Maybe this guy spawns up over here at bed. He's an SMG. He realizes, oh crap, 30 seconds, time to rotate new. He rotates and now he's sitting inside of P2 time. And just like the AR back here, because this sub player is rotating through bedroom, all he has to really worry about is someone pushing chandelier or hole in the wall. And uh, he can easily just sit on time right here and hold this cut just like this. And then once again, once 30 seconds goes by, holy crap, it's time to rotate. Maybe he dies. Maybe he spawns up somewhere else. Or maybe he got done getting like three kills 30 seconds and it's time to rotate. Same exact thing. He's going to rotate, get inside P3. Boom. Now he's sitting inside of P3. And now we actually have two people working together, right? Where this AR and this sub machine gun player are now working together. 30 seconds, it's time to rotate. Let's get to P2. The AR player goes in the back to anchor spawns. The sub player rotates to the time, and now they are both holding the back, and they are both holding chandelier. 
obviously we could um like give a call out and like say hey because this guy is laying down the sub players laying down in objective time he can actually hold hole in the wall and he can hold chandelier that would basically then put this ar player to still anchor but now this ar player can look at a different lane right so we have our sub player watching the right lane we have our ar player watching the middle lane we have objective we have spawns but we don't have kills and that's where our third player the flex player comes into play and he's here to play kills that's his objective he is the slayer of the team and it'll it, this one's a little bit different because this one for the flex yes 30 seconds you still want to rotate new and absolutely as a team you can do that where this player rotates new and oh crap you guys have the right lane you guys have the left uh middle lane let me turn around and pick up the left lane and just like that we now have the left lane controlled middle lane controlled right lane controlled we have spawns we have objective time and the reason why this flex player is sitting over here in spa is because this is going to allow him to get kills and the reason why this is going to allow him to get kills is because the enemies they know about this player because he's in objective time and they know about this player because they're not spawning in the back. So the enemies are focused on these two players, allowing the flex player to sit over here and spa, literally maybe sit in a corner, wait, and these enemies are going to run right in front of him and he's going to get a free two piece, three piece. You know, he could also play it aggressive as well, where he can push out of P4 and take a way more aggressive angle by challenging, um, on like P4 head glitch. And like now he's shooting over here at um, couches, right? So those are, it, it's that simple. It's that simple with just having those three people and hey, 30 seconds again, holy crap guys, it's 30 seconds. We're gonna have our you know OBJ rotating, getting into new time, our AR rotating, getting to new spawns, and then our flex is going to be rotating and going for kills. And again, maybe this rotator is instead of he instead of him hitting a wide rotation like our AR and our submachine gun player, right? So our AR and our submachine gun player, they did a wide rotation like this. Maybe our flex player, because he wants to go for kills, he goes right here instead. And he like sits couches so he can, you know, hold this. Or maybe he pushes all the way front and now he sits front to hold all the front. Right, there's multiple things this flex player can do. Uh, it's mostly just make sure he's positioning himself to kill the enemies. Uh, clearly for P3, this is more than likely not a realistic uh, example. A more realistic example, what the flex might do is the flex, you know, continues pushing through and he gets over here to like cut all these enemies over here. And then once he kills all those enemies, he pushes up to middle. And now he's cutting all these enemies over here. And that's for like rotating to P3, right? Okay. Um, any questions so far? So, so essentially, like the flex player, he doesn't even need to rotate with the team. Like he could maybe even like rotate a bit later and like just That's get a... kills on the way to point as well. And like, because obviously, as you said, obviously it's better to hold a point. But as we're rotating, so should the other team. But he can sort of come from behind, and as long as he doesn't flip spawns, he can basically catch kills while they're on the way to point. Right. The whole point of it, it's when we all die and we spawn up and we know that there's 30 seconds, we all know what we need to do. So like if we all three died and we all spawned up with 30 seconds left of P2 and we spawned over here at restaurant, we could sit there and go, all right, let's rotate. So we have our AR player get into the AR position for P3. We have our sub player get into the objective time for P3. And then our flex player is pushing up and just playing for kills middle and just killing the rotators and getting information and cutting the map in half. And like, that's, that's his whole goal. Right. Um, and the whole point of him sitting in this one spot is he can ideally call out if any enemies are crossing through over to the left. And then this is going to allow his teammates to, you know, obviously play for that. Uh, cause the whole point of it, it's like this, like he would probably see two enemies cross and then he would probably kill one guy and then he dies and then if he dies, like let's say he spawns out all the way over here, he could quickly just like jump out the map, kill himself real quick, and he's just going to spawn back over here because our teammate has anchor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That is so important, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is just, again, for mostly ranked play and just trying to help people just have 
jobs. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. AR player playing spawns. SMG playing OBJ. Flex, you're going for kills, right? Um, and then this is obviously where we get into our fourth player, which is like, what is our fourth player? And I always like to say that our fourth player is just another flex, right? So our fourth player is flex, you know, 2.0 or something like that. Um, and the reason why is because we see this on some professional teams where when we do this rotation, one player in time, one player holding spawns, we have one player holding the middle cut. Our fourth player can sit over here and watch front the entire time, right? And like that's where three, his entire back is safe. Number four has the entire front. And uh, like we're, we're just playing as a team, right? That's why we have the fourth player there. Um, and that's why I say they're kind of like a flex 2.0. So basically, I gave us all basic roles, super duper basic. Uh, but now you can take these roles and find your own play style with them and find the little things that you do like about those roles, right? So, you know, if you love sitting in time, soaking up time and just winning those last few gunfights, you can tell your team, hey, guys, just let me play on time, right? Um, and uh, that could quite literally mean, guys, let me be the only person in time the entire time. Um, there's other players who like playing as a fast SMG where they like soaking up OBJ time and they like going for, uh, like, you know, kills. Um, so what that might look like is like a fast SMG player, you know, might be like, I guess this player right here, number two. Okay. So like this player right here is number two. And the second that we see like three dead in the kill feed, so boom, 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 we see three dead in the kill feed, this SMG player is just gonna push out and try to just like roam back and forth, block spawns and play for those kills, right? Um, so this SMG player would push up, he's now blocking spawns, forcing all these enemies to spawn bottom bed, and that forces a fatal funnel uh, that our teammates can play for. And then the best part about this too is the second that we come down to 30 seconds, this player can now just rotate and go start sitting at new. So like, let's say we go back to bumping and it's like, okay, no matter what, SMG players playing time, AR players, they're gonna, you know, just play their lanes and play for kills, right? So like the flex players over here, just, you know, waiting for them to push in. We have our AR playing for anchor and then we have our two subs in time. What might happen is it's, no, one of these sub players, we start pushing out where once we get three dead like this, boom, three dead, this player pushes out and then this player pushes out. And then after, you know, a few more kills, if it's time to rotate, this player is going to push out and then your AR is actually going to be the last person on time in a 1v1. And the whole reason for that is because the second that, you know, there's 15 seconds left of P2, by the time this guy dies, He's just going to spawn all the way over here at new. And by the time he spawns up, P3's pop. He just sits here for the anchor spot. We have a sub player in time, or we have both sub players in time. And then we have an AR like cutting middle or something like that. And then again, same exact thing. If we get three dead, more than likely what's happening is these sub players are pushing out, getting ready to rotate. And then our AR player is going to be the last one in time. And eventually he'll either soak up the time rotate to new, or of course he'll just die, spawn new, play for new spawn.